What's up everyone, Jimmy from MTB Travel Review here and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I am an avid mountain biker. I've been riding for five or six years now. I'm really big into enduro racing and I travel all over the place. I actually just got back from Madeira racing a five day stage race called the Trans Madeira. 30 blind stages, tons of climbing, tons of descending, an absolute wild adventure. Now I say all this because all of the time I spend on my bike in the woods, I always have some sort of pad or protection on to protect my body. The last thing I want to do is injure myself, which is why I'm really excited to talk to you guys about one of my favorite partners, G-Form Pads. Now I've worked with G-Form for a few years now. If you look back on my YouTube channel, you'll actually see there's some older videos from 2019 and 2020 when I reviewed their products. I've tried a ton of other pads out there, but I just keep coming back for a few reasons. First of all, their pads are very durable, they're very comfortable, and they provide great protection. Also, they're based out of Rhode Island, which is local to me, which is pretty sweet. But most importantly, I keep coming back to G-Form because they keep progressing and moving their pads in the right direction. All that G-Form does is pads, whether it's mountain biking, soccer, baseball, or even motocross. Now, all they do is make pads, and they want to be the best at it. So every year, they re-release their pads, they improve, they listen to people, and they keep growing as a company and making better and better products. Now, in this video, we're not really going to get into the science behind their pads. Long story short, they use what they call Smart Flex technology, which is a special foam that stays soft and malleable until impact. Once you impact this, it becomes stiff and helps to absorb and displace energy, thus protecting your body from those heavy hits. This is the foam that they use in all of their pads and they have multiple different lines from XC all the way up to more heavy duty stuff and then even motocross now. Now to get jump started into the mountain biking stuff and all of the updates, the first thing we're going to talk about is their trail pad line is basically what I call it. It's the Pro X line, which has now gone from Pro X to Pro X2 to the latest edition Pro X3 with a ton of great updates. To start with the knee pads, this is a super light line. Again, this is what I use everyday trail riding when I'm out with my buddies. I don't need crazy protection, but I still want to have something. These are very malleable. Again, they use that Smart Flex foam, so it does contour well to the body. It has a really nice... Uh, elastic, almost spandex that I've never actually ripped. It's very durable and it holds the leg really well. All around great product. Now in this latest edition, the Pro X3, they made some great upgrades. They made them slightly longer. They enhanced the rubber gripper at the top and bottom to help it hold to your leg better. Most importantly, the biggest update I think is actually this is an inside out pad. And you can see that behind the standard Smart Flex foam, they now added a cushion layer to make it a little more comfortable on the knee. Pro X3 knee pads, highly recommend them. They also have the Pro X3 elbow pads. Same general idea, pretty light pad, same breathable material. They slide on, nice gripper on the top and the bottom. They fit to your elbow and those contours really well. I can actually put these on and completely forget about a mid-ride. The Pro X3 came with some nice updates. I actually have the Pro X2 here. You can see they made it slightly longer on the bottom, so it grips the elbow a little better. Again, fixed those rubber grippers and added that cushion, much like the knee pad, to the back of the pad to make it a little more comfortable on your elbows. And last but not least, for everyday trail riding, I've been rocking the Serata 2 gloves. So these are a super light glove. I think they're like 30 bucks or so. They have a really, really thin mesh on the top, which I love, so your hands don't overheat. It's really thin, but again, it's really strong. You can actually see through it. Uh, it has a nice, almost leathery palm to it. It does have the tip, so you can use your phone. Wicked fancy. And then what I love about the G-Form gloves is they always have some sort of protection on your knuckles there, especially on the pinky for when you accidentally whack that tree with your 800 millimeter bars. But really good light trail gloves. They've had some, I've had some issues with fit over the years, but now they seem to nail the fit really well and it fits my palms really nice and snug. Next up, we get into the beefier stuff. So this is the stuff that I usually use on my enduro races when I'm really going fast, but I still want comfort and not to be miserable on my pads, and that is the Pro Rugged line. Started with the original Pro Ruggeds that I have here. It's going to be a beefier pad. It's got this almost Kevlar-like fabric on the front, which is super tough. Again, never ripped that. They have upgraded since the Pro Rugged, and last year, or the year before, they launched the Pro Rugged 2. So these are, again, an upgrade from the original line, but 
the beefier pad, a little wider, a little thicker, a stronger fabric on the outside to protect that pad and your legs. They extended it down the bottom and added a small front pad in front of the shin, which is great. Again, it has that same kind of elastic material. It's actually a little thicker on the front and then more of a mesh in the back, so it's super breathable. They've added some fresh rubber to the top and bottom to help it hold on your leg really well. And these are great because they do have an adjustable Velcro strap. Just in case you deal with some sliding, you can tighten those up a little bit. This is again what I wear for all my enduro racing. This is what I used uh, in Madeira for the Trans Madeira. Really love these pads. I will say, when you first get them, they will come out a little stiff. Once you ride them for a week or two, you can see mine bend and mold really well. You really just gotta break in that foam a little bit and then they're super comfortable and really mold around your knee. They also, I don't believe they originally had Pro Rugged elbow pads, the original model, but they do have Pro Rugged two elbow pads. Same general idea as the knee pads. These ones have an elastic strap in the back as opposed to a Velcro strap. That same awesome rubber at the top to hold them on. Rubber on the bottom, again, a slightly beefier pad with that stronger fabric over the top. So again, kind of that, that heavier day pad for me, more enduro racing or, or days where I'm going a little bit faster, but all around really comfortable and a great pad in the Pro Rugged 2 elbow pads. Now next up, I, I feel like we have a product that a lot of people don't talk about, and that is the G-Form Bike Liner. So they've had a few different models of the bike liners over the years. The latest one, which I really loved, had kind of beefier pads. It really fit well, but uh, they've since upgraded to the Pro X3 bike liners. Now, I've tried a lot of chamois in my day and I'm pretty finicky with chamois. A lot of them are terrible. Uh, these aren't the cheapest in the world. They're kind of mid-range price-wise, but they are one of the most comfortable chamois that I've ever worn. Really good pad, a really good fit. Again, that kind of flexible spandex super durable material makes them fit nice and snug but not too tight really good elastic on the top and bottom to hold them in place with a little bit of that rubber on the bottom they do have some pockets i don't really use those but the best part about their chamois is it has this kind of pro x3 pad on the hips i don't know if you've ever crashed and taken a hip shot into a rock or the hard ground it is absolutely miserable Yeah. So I love having a super comfortable chamois that gives me a little extra protection and protects my hips. So again, Pro X3 bike liners, definitely worth checking out. Now, one thing that G-Form has kind of always missed out on is the upper body protection, right? One of the most important things for the mountain biker is the upper body, specifically the spine. They have had a compression shirt in the past. This is their old compression shirt. Uh, has some padding on the chest and the rib cage and the shoulders, but again, nothing on the back. Really good material, really good compression overall, but just not enough protection for me. Luckily, they just launched a brand new product that I am absolutely stoked on, and that is the MX360 shirt. Now, this thing is pretty dope. So first of all, it's made again with that super light mesh material. You can literally see my fingers through this, but it is as strong as it gets. It holds really well to the body without being too tight and it's super breathable. So that's a win right there because I am a super warm blooded person and I sweat a ton. Next up, they added a zipper. That's right, a zipper, which is genius. If you've ever been out there on a hot day, you're covered in sweat, you get back to the car and try to take your armor or even a jersey off, and you are just trying to peel it off of yourself and you need a friend to help, it's miserable. So huge kudos to them with adding the zipper. Love that, and it makes it super easy to take on and off. 
Now this does have again that smart flex foam. It has some in the chest and kind of the top of the ribs there, a little bit on the shoulder, a decent size pad there to help protect the shoulders. Not crazy protection, but just enough and it works really well for me. Most importantly, on the back of this, you will see that it has a full on spine protector, which is huge, which is something that I think every rider should use all of the time. Now I can show you this, this is machine washable, like everything else, I throw everything else in the washer, dryer, never really had an issue with it. Um, but because it's machine washable, the back pad is actually removable. So we can check out the pad on the inside. Really beefy smart flex foam here that allows it to be malleable, but again, stiffens and absorbs energy upon impact. They do have a couple extra layers in the foam on the back for a little more protection and comfort on the back. But again, this is, this is a beefy pad. This is what I love to see, and I love and always wear spine protection when I'm racing and doing all of those wilder rides. So huge kudos to G-Form on the new MX360 protection shirt. Now, it's MX360, I believe this is made for actually, you know, more of the intense mountain biking and they're actually starting to dabble into the moto market, which is pretty sweet. So I think they might be releasing some moto stuff in the future in addition to their mountain bike, soccer, baseball, whatever other pads they make. Now, last but not least, for all you naysayers that say no pad is really good if it's not a hard shell pad, they do have the E-Line pads, which they launched, oh, I think a little over a year and a half ago. So these are, if I can can find both knee pads. These are a hard shell pad. They have some of that smart flex foam behind it and on the sides. Good thing about these is that they do open all the way up so you can take them on and off without taking your shoes on and off, which is huge. They have these uh, rubber grip pads or flexors that go around the backs and then attach with Velcro. They have some uh, this little fabric here that zips on the bottom to hold it on and then another Velcro strap, but they're nice, they're breathable. It is a hard shell, but there is some bendability there, so they're not crazy uncomfortable. For me, uh, these pads are better for the DH park. If I'm using them on enduro days and doing a ton of pedaling, they will kind of slide down your leg, but with any hard shell, that's really hard to avoid. So those are the knee pads, and then they also have E-line elbow pads. Again, these are hard shell. These ones don't open in the back. They just slide on and they have an extra Velcro strap to help hold them on. Uh, but again, these are super comfortable. They are hard shell. If you'd like a little extra protection, the E-line is always an option. And that pretty much wraps it up for this 2022 G-Form review, update, video, whatever we want to call it. Again, I've worked with G-Form for years. They have great products. They're comfortable. They're durable. Great protection. They're always improving. They're also based out of Rhode Island, which is where I'm out of, so that's a perk as well. But I'm a huge fan, and I only support brands that I truly believe in, and I don't go on any rides without having one G-Form product or another on my body. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, smash that like button. If you are a fan of the channel, feel free to subscribe. That is the only way to support YouTubers like myself. Subscribe and follow along. And as always, guys, keep riding.